there are three ways to make bus tracks in Ableton. So the first one is to select the tracks that you want by either command clicking each one or click the first one, shift, and then click the last one to select all of them in between. Right click and group tracks or you can just click command G. So now this group it acts as a bus and controls everything under it. So if I solo individual tracks, you'll hear one track. If I solo the group, you'll hear both. Anything I do to the group track affects all of the other tracks under it. So for now, let me ungroup them. The second way is by accessing the I.O. panel right here. Make sure that it's active. You're going to want to click Command T to create an audio track or right click up here, Insert Audio Track. Send audio to that audio track. To make things easier, let's rename it Bus 1. Right now there's no audio playing because they're sending audio. This just isn't receiving audio. All you have to do is select the monitor in and then this acts as a bus. So now let me delete this. The third way is by using send and return tracks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the send and return track option turned on so that you can actually see them. Let's right click, insert return track. See without this option they disappear. Now normally these audio tracks are set to send to the master track. If I turn up this send, then it's going to duplicate the audio coming from the original source. It's just getting louder. What we want to do is send only. So now when I turn these up, it's not duplicating the sound, it's only sending it or bussing it to the return track. Again, anything I do to the return track is going to affect all the tracks being sent to it. For those of you who are advanced users, pre and post fader sends are right over here. If you set this to pre-fader, regardless of where these faders are, it's going to send at the maximum level. The two ways I use buses the most are the first and the third way that I showed you. The first one being grouping. I group tracks often. Like this track is a group of... And the track that I was using earlier as a demonstration is this one. Grouping tracks saves on CPU power. Both of these tracks are being sent to a sidechain. Instead of creating two sidechain compressors, or three in this case, there's three in here, I only have to create one on the group master track. The same thing goes with sends and return tracks. You can bust several tracks to the same return. Most of my tracks are used as reverbs or sends to effects. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions or problems setting this up yourself, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you and help you out.